Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla. If you're new, I film beauty, lifestyle, and travel related videos. So if that's something you're into, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. So in today's video, I am doing a pamper routine slash self-care Sunday. So right here, I am showing you guys these beautiful, beautiful gel nail polishes that I was sent over by the company Nail Addict. So they do have a large selection of different colors to choose from on their website and they are pretty affordable. So they were nice enough to send me these and give you guys a 45% off code of these already wonderful prices. So I was not able to actually use these because I need a, um, a UV light so do keep that in mind. Um, so I was getting my nails prepared unfortunately to no avail. And you guys know I picked out all those different shades of pink. They had so many shades of pink, I could not even believe it. So I am going to work on getting a UV light so that I can actually try these on for you guys. But in the meantime, you can buy these and actually take them to your own nail tech for them to use. Because nail techs, um, mostly in like the regular shops, they don't mind if you bring in your own nail polish. So thank you guys so much for sending this and thank you also for allowing my subscribers aka my family to try these nail polishes out as well so let's just go ahead and hop into the rest of this self-care sunday video and make sure you guys check the link in my description so that you can go shop these beautiful polishes i've been trying to take it slow but my patience low think it's time you let me know my face and I'm gonna be using this Teamy Blends Superfood Cleanser and I'm not gonna talk about this much in this video but I do have a link for you guys to go check out and I am gonna be reviewing this in a future video but I love how it's green you already know how I feel about green skincare products and I'm just gonna go ahead and dampen my face and then um, I'm just gonna use the cleanser all over you know, just so I can have a nice little transition, a little base, so I can get a little foam to the cleanser on my face. I don't need convincing at all because I know what I want. Baby, dig deep. It's time to make a move on my heart. What's it gonna take? So after I work the product into my skin for a full minute, I do go ahead and rinse off with lukewarm water, and then I use a clean rag and I do pat my face dry. I've been trying to take it slow, but my patience low. Think it's time you let me know. What's it gonna take for you to love, take for you to love me? So my pores do need a good cleansing, so I'm just gonna make this quick and easy at home mask. So I do have some organic apple cider vinegar from Bragg's. I have some Ice Mountain bottled water, and then I'm gonna be using my Aztec healing clay you can get this from a CVS you can get this from your beauty, beauty supply and you can also get this from I think Burlington so you do not need that much apple cider vinegar whatsoever but I used a lot of because I am going to be using this a couple of times throughout the week because this mask does help to actually clear my skin so when I use this, it does have bentonite clay in it, so it helps to shrink any acne I have going on, and it pulls out any impurities that I may have in my skin. So I'm just making enough so that I can at least use this about three to four times this week. So this mask is in particular pretty strong and it does get pretty tight. So you can just use water to make this mask. You do not have to use the apple cider vinegar, but I like to use it because it does help to, you know, brighten up any dark spots that I have on my skin because apple cider vinegar does help with the blemishes. So I am just going to go ahead and use this makeup brush and I'm going to apply it all over. The only place I didn't put it on was my forehead because that's really not a problem area for me. It's literally the entire lower half of my face. Also keep in mind that you can use this for your hair. It does actually make your hair pretty soft as well. I have not had any problems with using this. Just make sure you use warm enough water to get it out. 
And then I do have some um, acne on my chest right now. So I did go ahead and bring this down to my chest so that it can get a treatment as well. And don't be afraid to put this on any problem areas you guys have. Like you can literally use this all over and it should be fine. Anywhere that you feel like you need a nice detox or you have some acne, apply this and it will start to shrink your acne. So after about 15 minutes, I go ahead and get in the shower. I take a fresh washcloth. I'm going to actually wet that with the warm water. And then what I do to actually get this off, I place the rag on my face and I keep it there for a second so that it can start to loosen up the clay. And then I gently wipe it away. And just make sure that you are, you know, rinsing off the clay off of your washcloth so that you can continue to get things off and you won't have to pull, you know, as much. So I am going to be going in with my Dove Mango Butter Bar Soap because this is a mango scented routine. Now I will be honest with you, this mango butter bar soap is not my favorite scent at all. It is pretty musky. I do not like musky fruits. So I was a bit taken aback when I was able to actually smell this soap. Yeah, I don't really care for it, but I am going to continue to use it and just, you know, use it up. So of course you guys have seen me do my shower routines before. I'm just gonna wash my body all over for my base clean and just get myself prepared for my exfoliating process. Then of course, as always, I do go ahead and go down and scrub my legs and then I go down to my feet and I get in between my toes just to make sure any dirt and grime is from in between there, any dead skin, and I make sure I get the bottom of my feet as well. I recently just picked up this Dove antibacterial bar soap. As you guys know, I always use my Dial soap just because that was the one that I had. But I did finally get to use the Dove version of the antibacterial soap. So I will say I do really like it and it does not leave my body feeling stripped like the Dial soap. Even though that does not bother me just because I feel like I'm getting a nice squeaky clean. But it was nice not feeling, you know, extra dry. So I do use the antibacterial soap. I use that um, you know, under my breast and I do use that on a separate rag to clean my back, back behind area. So I do like to use the antibacterial soap for that reason, you know, just to make sure everything is nice and clean. So here I'm just laughing because I had to have the door open to do my routine and my daughter came in as I was showing you guys that mango scented scrub from Tree Hut. So I had to laugh. She was distracting me. So yeah, I just make sure that I exfoliate all over my body to get off any dead skin. And to be honest with you guys, I have not exfoliated probably in a couple of weeks. So that's why this is very important because sometimes we really fall off track and I'll be the first to admit that I'm not perfect and I do not do these routines consistently you know all the all the time I do do them pretty consistently but sometimes we fall off the wagon and that's okay and that's exactly why we need these types of days just to get back on track and feel like ourselves 
So I am exfoliating my legs, getting them prepared for shaving um, because you should probably, you know, never shave your legs without exfoliating because you need to soften up the hair follicles. So I am using my Mango Tree Hut body wash for the first time and I really like the lather of this body wash. I like the scent of this as well and I do like it way more than the coconut lime because the coconut lime does not smell like the Tree Hut scrub. To me, it's just like, you know, a hint of lime. It, it really does kind of smell like Sprite. So it's not bad, but I do prefer this one. Remember everything you say. So I do go back and put some more of that antibacterial soap so I can clean my ears. Make sure you guys are cleaning behind your ears as well as, you know, in that area, not in your ear hole, but making sure you're cleaning to get that sweat, grease, hair stuff, wax, anything that may be around there. You make sure you want to, you know, get that. And then I take some water and I just rinse it off just to make sure my ears smell good as well and are clean because you don't want to get any infections and you don't want stanky ears. So I'm just going to use the EOS Vanilla Scented Shaving Cream and I am going to go ahead and shave these legs that I've been having the nerve to have out and not shaving lately. Not that there's anything wrong with not shaving at all, but for me, I prefer to not have any hair on my legs because they do get pretty hairy. I know that feeling. So after every about two to three passes, I do go ahead and rinse the razor out because you don't want the razor to be clogged because if it's clogged, you're not gonna really get a nice close shave. And this is a fresh Venus razor that I did get from Five Below. Also shave in that little um, area behind my thighs because hair does grow right there for whatever weird reason. So I just, you know, since that skin back there is a little um, looser and it's a little, you know, chubby back there, I, you know, tend to do short strokes because I don't want to cut myself because the skin is not as tight as it is on my actual legs. So I do actually wash my downstairs area with a baby washcloth and then I just went ahead and used my baby dove soap for that area. So since this is a pamper self-care Sunday routine, I am going to be using the Olay uh, body conditioner. This is the one for the daytime. The one for the nighttime has retinol in it. I really enjoy these body conditioners and I just feel like they're just an extra little step you can take in your routine just to make you really feel pampered and soft and you know just making your skin feel really good after your shower So we are at the shower. So first thing I'm gonna do, because you don't wanna start stinking. As soon as you did all that stuff, you don't wanna start stinking. So today I'm just gonna use my Dove Dry Spray, and this is in the scent Grapefruit and Lemongrass. And yeah, it's not mango scented, but you know, it's still citrus and it's in the 
vitamin C family. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use that. Also, y'all, I know I probably said it in the voiceover, but I don't know about that mango butter dove soap, but I'm mad because I think I have like four of them, so I have to use them up. Um, yeah, I may just convert that to using this hand soap because I don't like that scent. It's really like, I think it's because it's so authentic. It's like really musky, like, and I know I like musky scents, musky scents, but I don't like musky fruit. No, it's just not where it's at. So I don't know, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna use it up regardless, but. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use my Thayer's. Is this spilling? Something's going on. So I'm just gonna use my Thayer's facial toner. And this is in the scent Rose Petal. Put this all over. And even though this is like a pamper day, I'm not doing too much because I am actually, it's that time of the month, so I'm lazy right now. <laughs> so luckily I even did all that I did. So I'm just gonna put some of that on the cotton pad. And then just gently wipe it all over my face any dirt left over so then I kind of fan it dry with this under eye stem cellar anti-wrinkle eye treatment Ooh. so what I like about this is it has this little tip on the end so you can literally just do like this does this really work and you know have anti-wrinkle properties I don't know but I use it till it's gone. <laughs> and then for moisturizer, I did just get this in the mail from Influencer. And I think this brand is called Melly. And this is Plump It Up Nourishing Cream. So they did send me this because it's supposed to be for people with melanin rich skin. And it's supposed to like give us a little more moisture. So yeah, the science of melanin rich skin. So I never heard of this brand before, but I am trying it out. And this is the perfect time because I do have to, you know, do a little review on it on the influence on the influencer site. So that's what that looks like. It's just like a little sample. And they did send me two of them. Okay, so it looks like a lightweight formula. That's neat. So I'm just gonna put that all over. In here, no matter how small the products are, it does not take me it takes me long to get through things like I don't know, I get through products easily, but skincare, it takes me a while. So, boom, okay, we're done with that. I'm actually using this for the first time, I believe. Yep. And this is the Vitamin C Whipped Shea Body Butter from Tree Hut. And this is what this looks like. It has a really, really light scent to me. I was expecting like an orange type of scent, but it's cute, and I do like this wet body butter formula anyway, so it's very bouncy, but still thick at the same time. Yeah, I don't know, it kind of smells like baby soap a little bit. <laughs> I don't know, I was expecting something a little different, but it's okay. So I'm just gonna put that all over. And I'm not doing anything to my feet yet because I am gonna actually do like a mini pedicure to my feet. So this body butter actually feels really good. So this came out when all of the new Tree Hut scrubs came out. So I did pick up this not too long ago. But the first one I picked up was actually the watermelon scented one when I picked up the scrub. So this particular body butter I feel like is great for the summer because you know, some people I know don't like to use like body creams and body butters in the summertime because it's pretty thick, but this formula is nice and whipped. So you can still get the moisture of a body cream or body butter without that heavy feeling. It's like, I don't know if this makes any sense, but it feels like it has like water in it. Like it's very moisturizing. So this is not mango scented either, but it's strawberry peach and you know, strawberry has vitamin C in it, you know. But yeah, you know, you guys know I don't really care for peach scents, but the strawberry in this really takes over. 
it is very very nice it smells like juice and this is like a little shimmer oil and then i actually am going to mix it a little bit with this eloise like shimmer stuff and i did get this from a boxy charm so let's see how much of a glow it gives so this is cute i don't want to drop any on the floor so yeah it's like a little pink metallic color and then i'm just gonna add that little droplet in there and then let's see so i guess i'm gonna be some like strawberry peach mango today I can't really tell the difference, y'all, but you know what it's. And this um, oil is kind of thick. It's thicker than I thought it would be. It's definitely not that slick um, baby oil type of thick. It's like baby oil gel. So I like that. But if you don't want something thick on you, you probably wouldn't like that. Let's see if you can see my leg. So that's my leg. It's pretty shiny. <laughs> So yeah, I like that stuff, okay. I'm about to be looking like a bronze goddess. Like look at that glow, look at that shine. Like yes, let's go outside. <laughs> Speaking of which, are we going outside today? I mean, it's Father's Day, so I don't know. Maybe I can catch a couple single fathers outside. <laughs> oh, the fragrance mist. Oh, before I get into the fragrance mist, I forgot to show you guys, so. I bought this a while ago. So this is a Vagisil Odor Block Dry Wash. And basically it says to use this when you um, like can't take a shower or wash up. I don't know about all that. <laughs> so I actually just use this like in the pelvis area to keep it smelling good. It has a nice, um, fresh scent to it I don't put this like down there down there I just put it like on the pelvis area so this is the mango Mai Tai and this is what I just got like in my recent SAS haul so if you guys have not seen those videos please go see them and I actually really like this fragrance notes for this are mango nectar sun-kissed guava and sugar cane so nice and sugary right up my alley i will spray this on my naked body but since we pg-13 i'ma spare y'all so i don't even know what perfume i want to pair with this um I tend to lead towards my Britney Spears fantasy when I have scents like this just because it has a kiwi note and I feel like it brings like the freshness out of it but I don't really want to wear that. I'm also thinking about like my Chance by Chanel or I don't know maybe something else sweet. Um, I have been wearing pink sugar a lot lately. I don't know. Decisions, decisions. But for right now I'm just going to do the mango Mai Tai so. Let me go ahead and get my little foot bath ready so I can get that out the way as well. So what I do guys, I actually have this little bin that I got from Dollar Tree and I like to fill this up with pretty hot to warm water, warm to hot. And I am gonna be using my Tree Hut Mango Epsom Salt to soak my feet in. And I did get this from TJ Maxx on clearance for about $4. And I could have actually poured this in there. I don't know why I was being extra and using my hand. <laughs> But I put that in there just so I can get a little soap. And if I did not take a bath at first um, before I actually did this, I would have put a little body wash in here as well just to make sure my feet are clean. So I just swirl it around to make sure that the salt dissolves. Then I put my feet in. And then I didn't show, you know, what I did afterwards because, you know, my feet needed to be done. It was pretty gross. But I did go ahead and use my my uh, file for my feet as well as the little, the little cheese grater looking thing. And then I gave myself a foot mask. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.